Welcome to the He's Got Issues DC Comics Edition number 22. I'm John Cooney here to preview new DC Comics being released July 24th, 2013, beginning alphabetically with All-Star Western number 22. After being locked in Arkham Asylum, Jonah Hex goes on the run with a partner whose family he's all too familiar with from his days with Amadeus Arkham. And in the backup story, the epic of the 19th century Stormwatch continues. Next, we've got Aquaman number 22, Death of a King continues as Aquaman uncovers a shocking secret and a potential ally that could change everything Arthur's ever known about the Seven Seas. Meanwhile, the armies of the dead king continue to amass as turmoil within Atlantis mounts threatening Arthur's leadership. Plus, whose side are Merc, Tola, and Swat on? Arthur's or Orm's? Next, we've got Arrow number 9, Does Diggle Really Trust Oliver? What happened between Laurel and Tommy while Oliver was presumed dead? What kind of tactics did the SCPD use in their ongoing investigation of the Starling City Vigilante? Find out all of this and more in this startling issue. We've also got Batman Superman number 2. Batman and Superman travel to Earth 2 where they find similar heroes who are trying to kill them. Next we've got Batman the Dark Knight number 22. Picking up from recent issues of Batman, the origin of Clayface is revealed and a new mystery is introduced. Next, we've got Catwoman number 22, What Lies Beneath the Streets of Gotham City. Catwoman is determined to find out, but Dr. Phosphorus stands in her way. Next, we've got Constantine number 5. As the Trinity War rages around him, John Constantine takes a keen interest in Billy Batson's power of Shazam. But does he want to mentor Billy or destroy him? Next, we've got Flash number 22. History is made when the Flash comes face to face with Reverse Flash for the first time. We've also got Green Team Teen Trillionaires number 3. The richest teens in the world are dealing with some serious buyer's remorse when the Commodore's battle armor causes him tons of trouble, and not even a trillionaire can afford the trouble that the Commodore's new hired muscle brings with him. Next we've got Justice League Dark number 22, Trinity War part 3. The most shocking story of the year continues as Justice League Dark must battle both the Justice League and the Justice League of America in the wake of a murder you never thought possible. It's an extra-sized issue you won't want to miss. We've also got Larflees number 2. Larflees faces the celestial being known as the Lord of the Hunt. Will our orange lantern end up stuffed and mounted on the wall of a cosmic lodge as a trophy? We've also got Red Hood and the Outlaws number 22. As the fate of Jason Todd remains unclear, Starfire faces off against Essence to try and tip the scales, but in which direction? Next, we've got Superman number 22. Confronted with a Psy War, Superman falls before one of its leaders, the Hive Queen. We've also got Superman Unchained number 1 Director's Cut Edition. The debut issue of the Red Hot New Series is back in a special Director's Cut Edition. Shot directly from Jin Lee's pencils, this new edition also includes Scott Snyder's full script to the blockbuster story. Next we've got Talon number 10. Can Calvin escape Santa Prisca, the most dangerous island on the planet, or will he fall at the hands of its ruler, Bane? Next, we've got Teen Titans number 22. Trigon triumphs over the Teen Titans as he begins to turn Manhattan into a staging ground for a demonic takeover of the planet. And we've got Unwritten number 51. In the Unwritten Fables part 2 of 5, Tom Taylor steps into the role of warrior and protector in a war between storybook characters. His first mission, save the big bad wolf, but a job like that might need two Tom Taylors. Out in trades this week, we've got Camelot 3000 Trade Paperback New Edition. The classic tale that exploded into comic shops in the early 80s is back in a new trade paperback, collecting the entire 12-issue maxi-series. Featuring a cover by acclaimed artist Brian Boland, this collection of the mythical tale of honor and bravery includes preliminary artwork by Boland and developmental material from Mike W. Barr. Next, we've got Ferris Volume 2, The Hidden Kingdom Trade Paperback. In this tale from issues number 8 through 14, Rapunzel lives one of the most regimented lives in Fable Town, forced to maintain her rapidly growing hair lest her storybook origins be revealed. But when word from her long-lost children surfaces, she travels to Japan to find them and a former lover. And we've got Nightwing Volume 2, Night of the Owls Trade Paperback. In this collection, Dick Grayson must face a deadly adversary as he learns of his connection to the mysterious Court of Owls. But even if he can't stop an undead assassin, he'll still have to deal with an anti-Gotham City army and the mysterious Paragon. Collects Nightwing number 8 through 12 and 0. 
Okay, so that's it for DC this week. But for more DC Comics fun, check out your daily DC on Facebook. Of course, there are still plenty of other books out this week as well. So be sure to check out my YouTube channel at he's got issues.com to see both the Marvel and Indies videos for this week, as well as my feature video with the usual roundup of all my favorites for the week, with a little more depth and insight than you get here. And if you like these videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and subscribing. You can also follow He's Got Issues on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Tumblr to see everything I'm reading as I read it. So until next week, I'm John Cooney, and I've got issues.